Okay, this is a fast video on uh, on printing uh, with a RepRap printer. Uh, I'm using Cura here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I've got Cura already started up. I've got my STL file here. I'm not really going to get into creating STL files. I just want to get into printing them. Drag that into here. I'm just going to print one object right now. Bring a case uh, for an LCD panel. It's doing the slicing up here right now. It says, okay, it's going to take three hours to print. Um, it's a big print. Uh, layer height's where I want it. Uh, shell thickness, that's all good. Fill density's good. Uh, I'm printing PLA, so I don't need to be anywhere near that hot. I do print a little hotter than a lot of people do. Don't have a pretty heated print bed, so I'm turning that off. Don't need any support on this particular print. Um, my filament's a little bigger than that. I don't. Let's see. Yes, I do have a 0.5 millimeter nozzle. Speed's good. All the rest of that's good. Uh, cooling is good. All right. Before I start a print, um, I'd like to take a little. Uh, a little rubbing alcohol and uh, just give the surface a quick clean. If there's skin oil or dust or whatever on there, it can wind up um, making the stuff, the uh, filament, not stick very well. And go over. Um, control P to bring up the print dialog. It's connecting and operational, and it's still loading the G code. Got to wait a little, a little bit here. It's going to be a lot of G code in this thing. All right, so the G code is loaded now. Machine's operational. Turn the printer on. The electronics are on because they're being powered off the USB, so that's why I was able to connect there. Um, the fan drives me nuts, so I try to leave it off. Um, hit print, uh, and the temperature should start increasing here. And then, uh, at some point, it's going to hit its temperature and start going. Okay, it's decided it's up to temperature. It's homing all the axes. And then, uh, it'll lift up like 10 millimeters and, uh, just do a quick prime. Well, the first thing it's going to do is do a skirt around the object, which is just a little just draw a line around the whole object. You can kind of watch as it goes across here, make sure that it's it should be squishing the plastic out kind of flat, not really, really flat. If it's uh, if it's flatter on one side than the other and it's really bad, you might want to stop and realign your printer. Maybe you've gotten it out of alignment somehow. It's in pretty decent shape right now. It's a little flatter on the left. I was fiddling with the z-axis a few moments ago and I probably cranked one side down a little farther than the other but not enough that I'm worried about it. It's going to do the uh, inner perimeters first, then the outer perimeters. Sometimes, especially like with this, this transparent plastic that I'm using can be a little slippery. Sometimes the very first thing down on the tape doesn't really want to stick. Uh, don't worry about it too much. Uh, it's uh, when the outer perimeter draws on the first layer, or the inner, uh, yeah, the outer perimeter on the first layer. That's the one that really counts. 
uh, the inner ones won't be that visible. Uh, so as long as the outer one looks good, that's fine. Uh, it's generally a good idea to keep an eye on it as it finishes the uh, until it's gotten the first layer drawn. Once the first layer is done, then uh, you're pretty much you can leave it unattended. Really, once you get uh, once you get things dialed in, you can even go completely just hit print and walk away, or at the worst, just watch the perimeters draw. If the perimeters are good, you're, you're fine. Um, never hurts to come in check on it every 10 or 20 minutes to make sure it hasn't started doing something really dumb.